Hey everyone, welcome back. Make sure to watch this video all the way through before jumping into the comments. Tesla has just delivered a major update on its semi-truck timeline, and it's a game changer. Elon Musk has officially confirmed the first production-ready delivery from Giga Nevada, a moment that marks a historic shift in the transportation industry. After years of hype, delays, and speculation, the Tesla Semi is no longer a concept. It's real, and it's already on the road. The logistics and freight industry is now on high alert. Elon Musk has done what many believed was impossible. A fully electric, long-haul, heavy-duty truck has rolled off the production line. But why is this such a big deal? What makes this delivery more than just another milestone? And how could it reshape global supply chains? Let's break it down. The Tesla Semi has been in development for over five years. It was first revealed in 2017 promising groundbreaking specs, a 500-mile range, 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 20 seconds fully loaded, and energy consumption under 2 kilowatt hours per mile. Those numbers alone were enough to send shockwaves through the diesel trucking world. But after the initial excitement came years of delays. Many skeptics claimed the battery tech wasn't ready or the economics didn't add up. Fleet operators remained cautious until now. Tesla has officially delivered its first semi from Giga Nevada, and it's not just a prototype, it's production ready. This isn't just about one truck, it signals the start of a revolution that could transform logistics, reduce global emissions, and fundamentally change how goods move. Giga Nevada has gone from being just a battery factory to becoming the launch pad for the next era of freight transport. Elon Musk recently appeared at a private company event to announce this delivery. But it wasn't just a handoff. It was the official kickoff for the electrification of long-haul trucking. The first customer, PepsiCo, one of Tesla's earliest backers of the semi-project. They've already started integrating these trucks into their operations in Modesto and Sacramento, and this marks the first semi delivered from Tesla's scaled production line. So why does this matter? Because this isn't just a one-off truck, it's built for mass production. It's the first of many. Tesla is now ready to produce, ship, and scale this vehicle across fleets worldwide. Elon Musk's updated semi-production plan. At the event, Musk laid out a new timeline for Tesla semi-production. He confirmed that by late 2025, Giga Nevada will be producing dozens of trucks per week. By 2026, Tesla aims to hit full-scale production, 50,000 units per year. That number isn't just a guess. The US currently has over 2 million Class 8 trucks in use. With average replacement cycles of 7 to 10 years, about 200,000 to 300,000 new trucks enter the market annually. If Tesla captures even 20% of that market, it would mean 40,000 to 60,000 semis per year, putting their 50,000 target right in the sweet spot. But this goes beyond replacing diesel with electric. The Tesla semi isn't just another EV. It's part of a tightly integrated system. Think one megawatt mega chargers, fleet management software, autopilot integration, predictive AI maintenance, and battery tech built on Tesla's advanced 4680 cells. This is not just electric trucking. It's smart, efficient, and scalable freight mobility. Why the industry is paying attention. For decades, legacy truck makers like Freightliner, Volvo, and Kenworth have dominated with their diesel powered machines. But diesel is becoming a liability, fuel prices are rising, emissions regulations are tightening, and companies are under pressure to reduce their carbon footprints. Fleet operators are actively searching for alternatives, and the Tesla Semi offers a compelling one. It costs under $1.70 per mile to operate, compared to $2.50 to $3 for diesel. Add in lower maintenance, no oil changes, fewer moving parts, regenerative braking, and access to zero emissions zones. And the economics start to make a lot of sense. Even Ford CEO Jim Farley has acknowledged Tesla's dominance in electric powertrains, including in categories where Ford usually leads. What Tesla did to the luxury sedan market with the Model S in 2012, it's now doing to trucking with the Semi in 2025. PepsiCo's early results. Let's take a moment to talk about PepsiCo. They've now received several Tesla semis, including the latest delivery from Nevada. 
Early performance data from their Modesto facility is impressive. Average daily routes of 300 to 425 miles, charging times under 45 minutes using 1 megawatt chargers, and overwhelmingly positive driver feedback on handling, braking, and comfort. Estimated annual fuel savings. Over $70,000 per truck. These aren't marketing numbers, they're real-world results. PepsiCo is now planning to expand its Tesla semi-fleet across California, Texas, and eventually the East Coast. And they're not alone. Walmart, FedEx, UPS, Anheuser-Busch, and Cisco are either piloting or actively considering the semi for their fleets. Charging infrastructure no longer a roadblock. One of the biggest objections to electric trucking has been infrastructure. Where are you going to charge a megawatt-scale battery? Critics asked. Well, Tesla already has a plan. They're building out a dedicated mega-charger network along key freight routes. The first corridor, from Giga Nevada to Northern and Southern California, is already operational. Next up, Texas, Arizona, and the eastbound I-80 corridor. And here's a major twist. Tesla plans to open these chargers to other truck makers for a fee. Much like they did with the supercharger network, Tesla is turning infrastructure into a new business model. While accelerating industry adoption, it's a classic Musk strategy. Build the system, then invite others in. Could Tesla kill diesel sooner than expected? Let's run some quick numbers. If Tesla reaches its goal of 50,000 trucks per year by 2026, and each one replaces a diesel truck that drives 100,000 miles per year, that's $5 billion in annual savings for fleet operators. From an environmental perspective, that's about 4.25 million tons of CO2 emissions avoided every year. For companies with sustainability and ESG targets, these savings aren't just attractive, they're necessary. Governments are also getting on board with incentives and regulations that favor electric over diesel. In short, the Tesla Semi isn't just here, it's starting a domino effect. From cost savings to infrastructure, emissions cuts to supply chain transformation, the ripple effect of this first delivery out of Giga Nevada will be felt far and wide. Stay tuned because the freight world is about to change. Fast.